Hi, this is Noel with Creation Effects, and in this Creation Lens Flare tutorial, I want to spend just a few minutes making a basic lens flare from scratch just to show you the process. And you could also get a unique flare by opening one of the 50 pre designed lens flares and customizing it using the slider controls, um, but this is more fun. Now, normally, if you're going for realism, I'd recommend that you find a photo or a movie scene with a lens flare that you like, and then modeling your lens flare after that. I already have an idea of what I'm going to make here, so I'm just going to get started. You can see in my base comp, I've got a couple elements already. There's a light source center and a light source glow. And you can see at the top, there's this control layer. And when that's selected, you can move your light source around. I want to add a few elements to this. So I'm going to go to my elements comp and let's select a light rays element. And since this light rays element has this alpha mat layer above it, I'm going to select the alpha mat layer first and then shift select the light rays element. And I'll also grab this halo and a reflection shape and a reflection shape array. And I'm just going to copy all of those. That's Command C or Control C for Windows. And I'll just paste them all into my base comp. And I need my control layer to stay on top. So I'll just move those down here. And now you can see if I move it around, I've got this very basic lens flare that's really quite ugly. So let's make some changes. If you select any layer and then go to your effects controls panel, you'll notice all these slider controls. And these slider controls affect all the properties of each element. So let me hide some of these so you can see what I'm doing. And let's select this light source glow element. And I'm going to change that to a blue color. Okay, let's go to the light rays element. Let's change that to white. And I want my rays to be thinner than this, so I'm going to increase the detail and decrease the brightness a bit and maybe increase the intensity so we can see it better and I'll also increase the ray evolution and what that does it makes it so that the rays evolve as you move your lens flare around okay let's go to this halo and that's a bit bold for me so I'm going to decrease the thickness and decrease the softness a little bit and also decrease the brightness so it's something more subtle and that's pretty good. Let's go to this reflection shape. That's a polygon now and I want that to be a circle so I could increase the number of sides here or I prefer to increase the outer roundness to 130 and we'll change that color to a light blue and we'll make it bigger with this expansion slider and then using the proximity slider we'll move it closer to the light source. And I want a few shapes like this, so I'm going to select the layer and duplicate it using Command D. And we'll move this one down a little bit further and make it smaller. And let's make another one, and we'll move that way down here. Let's duplicate it again, move it down a bit, and I think I'll make this one really big. And let's make one more. We'll move it down a little bit and make it, we'll make this one really small. And let's make one more. We'll change it to a purple color. And we'll make this one really big too and move it down a little bit. And maybe brighten this up. And I'll just go crazy on the softness slider and make it one big blur. There we go. And then there's one more element down here, the reflection shape array. And you can see it's got all these reflections on one layer. I want to make these into circles as well. So I'll select the element and change the outer roundness to 130. And we'll change the color to a, a light blue. And we'll make these smaller too, I think. And now this lens flare is starting to take shape here. Uh, it still needs something. I think I'm going to add a couple more elements. So I'll go to my elements comp and let's get this streak terrain. We'll copy and paste that into our base comp and we'll move it below the control layer. And now if we move it around, you can see we've got this rainbow colored ring that expands as the light source moves. And I want to hide some of this. So I'm going to select the streak ring element and I'm going to increase the completion amount. And let's make this a lot thicker. And we'll increase the soften inner edge and soften outer edge. And that looks pretty nice. It still needs one more thing. Let's go back and we'll take this anamorphic streak and copy and paste that in there. And that's actually kind of thick, so let's use the flatten slider on that. And that's looking pretty good. 
In fact, that sort of stretched anamorphic look would probably work really well for this flare. So rather than going through each element and stretching them individually, I'm just going to select this control layer. And you can see that there's a bunch of global controls now, and these affect the lens flare as a whole. So I'm going to look for this anamorphic stretch slider, and I'm just going to increase that and stretch everything out. And now you can see we've got this pretty nice anamorphic lens flare, and it didn't take us that long to make. And this is ready to go. You could export this as a still and use it on your graphic design or photo, or you can composite this over your footage. And why don't I just go grab a clip here. Uh, we'll take this subway train and we'll move it all the way to the bottom. And it looks like there's a little light up here, so we'll just drag it over the light. And that looks pretty good. And so now you can animate the motion of this using keyframes, or you can use After Effects' motion tracking controls and have it automatically track with the motion in your footage. And I show you how to do that in another tutorial.